Do you struggle debating your management team on a monthly basis that some months there's no way we can hit that labor target and other months it's so easy they just brush it under the carpet they don't even try because your customers are managing your efficiencies because you're so damn busy you can't add another cook can't add another server or cashier are you tired of that debate how about i tell you how to bust the national average or benchmark myth of labor cost so that you can run your business profitably. I'm gonna share that with you right now. Hello, this is David Scott Peters with restaurantexpert.com and I've been there, done that. I've had my owner, my boss, walk in and go, David, we need a 32% labor cost because that was the national average national restaurant association at the time said national average for a full service restaurant was a 32 percent labor cost without taxes it was 29.9 percent whatever well, wait a second is my restaurant average think about it a benchmark an average it's an average of a group of restaurants do you have the same price point as i had on the straight the same street corner the same product with the same service the same decor the same everything no so what are averages good nothing they're good for nothing be sure and look on this channel and look for the tip on prime cost where i teach you how to look at your cost of goods sold and your labor cost but we're not going to talk about that right now but it's important to know because where we determine where our labor cost should be is all about our budget and in fact i'm going to tell you you're going to lose money hand over fist if you don't create a budget. Here's the deal. Two most important things any restaurant should have in place to be successful are a budget and recipe costing cards. What are two things most independent restaurants never do? Budgets and recipe cards. Why? They're so hard, David. Boo frickin' who? You're in the toughest business I know. So step up, lead your team, give them the tools to be successful. It starts with a budget. Now why is, why is it so important when I talk about labor numbers? Well, if you look at this, I've mapped out prime costs, cost of goods sold plus labor cost for a budgeted restaurant for a year, for 12 months. And when you look at this, you're going to see changes in sales from $169,000 a month to $408,000 a month. Huge swings in what? Seasonality. This is an extreme example, but it's a real restaurant. So here's the deal. When we first started working with the manager, the operations manager of this business, they heard, hey, you've got to have a budget. Pick the annual number and inserted it in every month. That was their target to hit their labor targets for, right? But the problem was in some months, it was impossible to hit. Demotivating would stop trying. In other months, they were so busy, it was so easy to hit, didn't he have to try and do anything? Problem is, we lost thousands of dollars in this cycle because we used the wrong number month after month. You'll notice at the top of the slide I've given you here, we've got labor cost percentages by month as low as 21% and as high as 42%. How could that be? Well, that's because when our sales are really low, our management team, our fixed expense, if they're salaried, they chew up all the available dollars. And in fact, at certain months, I may not have enough money to pay a single line employee. That's a gross exaggeration, but you know what I'm saying? I've, I don't have enough money for line employees. Well, what do I have to do? Do I cut all the line employees and run my managers ragged? Well, there's some of that has to happen because it's seasonal, but the realization is I have to raise my labor budget. I may have to attack my cost of goods sold, put in a seasonal menu. I'll talk about that in a, in a video coming up soon. But the fact of the matter is, I'm going to have a different labor target for that month, which will be higher. But it also means in my busiest month, but my management salaries don't go up, but the variable expense, I can use more employees, but there gets to a point where I don't need more employees. I can't add another cook to the line. I can't add another server. I can't add another cashier. And so all of a sudden my customers are managing my efficiencies. I'm so busy. My labor cost drops like a rock. And so in this case, in my slow times, this budget, the labor cost is 42%. In the busy times, it's 21%. But ultimately, when we get through a year, 12 months in a row, with labor targets going like this, I hit my 55% prime cost, in this case, 56% for this budget, because I'm running about a 28% labor cost, including taxes, benefits, and insurance. See, if I don't look at a whole year, 
and I look at one number month after month, it's impossible to be profitable. It's impossible to do what's necessary to run properly. So how about we give our managers the number they need based on your budget and the month they're operating in. Do you need some help with this? Putting together a budget and understand the importance of it? Well, make sure you put comments in below that you'd like some help and we'll reach out to you, we'll message you, or you can give us a call toll free at 1-877-457-6278, extension 106. Greg Sauerbach, our solutions coach, will help you. We'd be happy to help. Again, put some comments below, you need some help, we'll reach out. Otherwise, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel where I give you videos like this on a weekly basis. But before you go, I wanna give you my free report, the 10 lessons I've learned that any independent restaurant must know to make money get their life back, and have managers know what their job is. This report can literally be life-changing. These are step-by-step -step systems on how you can change your bottom line and have a team know their job. I wanna give it to you right now. All you gotta do is simply opt in in the link below. And again, make sure you subscribe to this channel because next week I'm gonna be talking about should you bonus your managers? And if you do, how do you do that? Do you have a management bonus program in place that's more like an entitlement program? I gave you money last year, so I'm gonna give you money this year, and your managers expect it? Do you have a new manager or a manager you've hired from another restaurant says, I'm coming over, but your compensation package isn't large enough for me, I need a manager bonus program, and you're scrambling trying to figure out what the hell you should do? Well, if you need help with that, stay tuned. I'm gonna help you with that right